they class. In the previous videos, we have studied the disorders of each organ. We introduced the different syndromes of each organ. Most of the syndromes are related to one organ with one disease nature, such as indeficiency or blood deficiency or even excess damp heat. So most of them related to one organ and one nature. But more commonly in our daily practice, the patient may present with multiple organs disorder, especially for two, two or more organs. The reason is because our human our human body, the structure of our human body, the zhang fu organs, the functions of them are related. So some organs, they are more likely to happen to be affected at the same time, especially for the organs, the coupled organs, such as the spleen and stomach the lung and large intestine. That's why sometimes in some common flu patients, they also can present with diarrhea, the lung and large intestine, the spleen and stomach, the liver and gallbladder. So these organs are more likely to be affected at the same time. Apart from the coupled organs, the organs, the relationship among organs according to the five elements also will affect the organs disorder, such as the liver problem, the, dis the liver disorder will result in the spleen disorder. That's because the, the wood. Uh, that's because the relationship between the wood and the earth. Apart from the five elements, some organs also can be affected at the same time. That's because their function sometimes they relate, they link together, such as some organs they related to the qi or they related to the blood, especially from the circulation. Some of them are related to one function, such as the reproduction function, infertilities, such as the liver, the kidney, they all related to the reproduction function. So the liver and the kidney also may be affected at the same time. So in this video, we're going to introduce some of the common manifestations of two or more organs. The first one, we're going to talk about the disharmony between the heart and the kidney. So the, this syndrome pre presents with the heart problem and the kidney problem. Why the heart and the kidney will be affected at the same time? That's the relationship between the heart and the kidney. This relationship we have introduced in the five elements, the fire and the water. What's the relationship between the fire and the water? In order to control the heart of fire, the water from the kidney need to go upwards to control the heart fire. And the heart fire it, it need to go downwards to warm the kidney water. So that's the relationship when we study the five elements. The symptom of the disharmony between the heart and kidney manifests as hyperactive yang. This yang is kidney due to indeficiency. This is the kidney indeficiency. The kidney indeficiency will result in deficiency heat, which is yang. 
the deficiency heat will affect the heart. So in this situation, the patient may present with restlessness, insomnia, palpitation, during disturbed sleeping, something related to the heart, especially from the heart heat. The patient, because of the kidney indeficiency, the patient also will have indeficiency symptoms, feverish sensation, idle fever, night sweats. And because this symptom is linked to the kidney, the patient will present with soreness and weakness in the waist and knees. We have mentioned this. The soreness and weakness in the waist and knees are the most common symptom of the kidney, especially for kidney deficiency. And the tongue is red. That's because this, this syndrome is due to kidney indeficiency. The kidney indeficiency will result in deficiency heat. Red tongue, scanty coating. That's also because of indeficiency. The causes of, of this syndrome it can be from emotion or mental mental work, access, someone that think a lot, or very stressful, these emotions will cause the stagnation. The stagnation will result in internal heat. The internal heat will affect the kidney in. So the internal heat will consume the kidney in, results in kidney in deficiency. Problem also came from excess sexual activities or from long chronic diseases. The weak body constitution results in kidney indeficiency. So the, the patient will present with the heart problem, the kidney problem, and then when you try to identify what's the causes, you need to think about the emotion, the mental work, the sexual life, the chronic diseases. That's from these aspects, you're going to find the clues from here. Yang deficiency of the heart and kidney. So the previous one is indeficiency. The kidney indeficiency affected the heart. Now, in this situation, the heart yang deficiency, the kidney yang deficiency, they happen together. When we started the Zhangfu theory, we always mentioned about the heart fire, and we, we have studied that the heart fire is the emperor fire, so it's the king. We have mentioned the kidney fire, but we didn't focus on there. We have mentioned that the minister fire. So in the, in the first, first semester, there's one test, there's one question asked about the minister fire. The minister fire is from the kidney. The heart fire and the kidney fire, these two are all fires, which is yang, or so the heart yang, or heart fire, the kidney yang, or, or kidney fire. One is the emperor fire, one is the minister fire. These two are always help each other. The reason is the heart fire also needs the support from the kidney fire. In other words, the heart yang needs the support from the kidney yang. The reason is from the reason is because the innate yin and yang stores in the kidney. So the, the acquired yang from the heart, we need a support from the in, initial yang. So in this situation, the patient may present with both 
heart yang deficiency and kidney yang deficiency. And when we talk about yang deficiency, we always mention that the yang deficiency will result in internal cold. So the patient will present with coldness, pale tongue, that's coldness, white coating, coldness, slippery coating, that's because of the coldness does not consume the water. The heart yang deficiency can be palpitation, cold intolerance, cold lumps, edema. The kidney yang deficiency, soreness, weakness in the waist, cold sensation in the waist and knees. So these are different manifestations, especially if a patient presents with palpitation, edema, and with, def and with deficiency cold, the edema is from the kidney. From the kidney, the reason is because the kidney dominates the water metabolism. So, especially for the medical from the medical condition related to the kidney, such as the chronic kidney failure or kidney syndrome, there are many medical conditions. The patient may present with edema and palpitation. How are we going to understand these manifestations from acupuncture? We're going to understand from the yang deficiency of the heart or and kidney. It doesn't have to be yang deficiency, but this Palpitation plus edema, that's, that's something related to the heart and kidney. So in this situation, we can focus on the heart and kidney, and then we're going to find other proofs, such as the pale tongue, pale tongue or a red tongue, that can help us to identify kidney yang deficiency or kidney indeficiency. deficiency of the heart and the lung. In this situation, the qi deficiency in both these two organs, the patient will present with palpitation, chest tightness, and then cough, panting, shortness of breath, some clear phlegm, fatigue, soft voice, reluctance to talk, spontaneous sweating, pale complexion. On these, you will see these are all qi deficiency. The symptoms worsen upon physical exertion. So from after movements, after exercise, the patient feels feel worse. That's a very typical symptom of qi deficiency. Sometimes if you you walk around with your friends, if you hike or you hike with your friends, some friends they can walk for long and some after walking for half an hour, they feel tired. And then from this manifestations, you will know that this person the qi of the person is not as, as strong as the others. That's a very typical symptom of qi deficiency. Symptoms worsen upon physical exertion. Because it affects the heart and the lung. So if you have the heart symptoms, the lung symptoms, So these are the very typical manifestations. No matter from the clinical practice or from your test, you're going to find the key manifestations of each organ and then you can identify which syndrome 
the patient is, is suffering. The deficiency of the heart and the spleen. This syndrome will focus on the qi and blood. So that's why it manifests as malnourishment of the heart mind due to heart blood deficiency and spleen qi. Although it mentions there spleen qi deficiency. The reason is because the, the, the qi the heart function we need the hot blood. Where does the blood come from? Again, we mentioned about the classic, the middle jaw, which are the spleen and the stomach, receive the food and the water from the food you eat. It transforms into qi, and the qi goes to the heart, the heart Transfer, transform the qi into red color, it becomes the blood. So in this process, the spleen is where the acquired qi and blood come from. Deficiency of the spleen will result in deficiency of the heart. So in this situation, the patient will present with palpitation insomnia, during disturbed sleep. Poor appetite, abdominal distension, loose stool, that's the manifestation of the spleen. Fatigue, also due to the deficiency, poor memory, that's the deficiency of the heart. The tongue is pale, the pulse is sweaty. So in this situation, the patient will present with qi and blood deficiency symptoms. Plus, the heart deficiency, palpitation, insomnia, during disturbed sleep. The spleen deficiency, poor appetite, abdominal distension. It might be bleeding or not. Blood deficiency of the heart and the liver. The heart governs the vessels. The liver stores the blood. So these two organs are related to each other through blood. The vessel is where the blood moves. In this situation, the patient also will present with severe palpitation, insomnia, Poor memory, the liver, tremors, sparum, blurred vision, the orifice is the, are the eyes. So the patient will present the palpitation is on the ear, the eyes problem, the tendons problem. Nails problem, that's from the liver. Chong Reng, blood deficiency syndrome. The Chong Reng is the meridian we have introduced, but we didn't go in details. We're going to study the Chong and Reng in the second year. So from here, what we need to remember is the, the heart manifestation, the heart blood deficiency manifestation, and the liver blood deficiency manifestations. The liver stores the blood. When the liver stores blood called deficiency, we don't have enough blood in the liver. The heart governs the vessel. There also won't be enough blood in the vessels. So these two organs may happen together. That's because the connection of the blood. The qi deficiency of the spleen and the lung. This man, many reflects in the qi. The acquired qi comes from the spleen. The qi transforms in the lung. So these two are 
very close related to each other through the qi. A system coughing, shortness of breath, something from the lung, full appetite, abdominal distension, loose stool, soft voice. These are the qi deficiency, especially from the spleen qi deficiency. Again, it might be worse upon movement, just the qi deficiency. So the key manifestation, coughing, shortness of breath, the tongue can be pale, the pulse is weak, it's because of qi deficiency. Poor appetite, those to the spleen and the qi deficiency. So that's how to analyze different manifestations. In this video, we have introduced the six two organs dysfunction syndromes. Thank you for your attention.